During the Arnold Classic season, there was a debated topic regarding whether Derek Lansford should participate in the show or not. The main argument in favor of his participation was that, with the absence of Harry Chupan, who's the only one who finished ahead of him at the Olympia, Derek would have been the front runner to win the second major bodybuilding show in the world. On the other hand, a counter argument was that Nick Walker posed a significant threat to Derek's chances of winning. However, the outcome of the Arnold Classic, where Samson Dauda emerged as the winner and Andrew Jack finished in the top three, pushing Nick Walker to his limits, raises the question of how Derek would have fared against such a competitive lineup. So in this video we are going to see how would have Derek Lansford looked on the Arnold Classic stage next to the top 4. Front double biceps. Derek has the most impressive V taper, being almost as wide as Rami and having the smallest waist. He executes the aesthetic vacuum beautifully and displays the best conditioning on stage along with Nick. However, his arms are his weakness and he falls behind at this department, arguably landing in last place in this lineup when it comes to the guns. Whether Derek would win this pose against Nick Walker depends on individual's perspective, whether one values structure or actual biceps more. However, with competitors like Samson and Andrew, who possess equally aesthetic physiques but are much bigger overall with better arms, I predict Derek may not place higher than third in this pose. In the front lat spread pose, Derek doesn't seem to have a significant advantage over his competition. While he does beat Nick Walker in this pose, it's not a challenge given Nick's weakness in this particular one. When compared to the other three guys, it's unlikely that Derek would seriously compete against any of them. Although Rami may be debatable if we consider conditioning and overall details, but anyway it's safe to say that Derek may not be able to challenge Samson and Andrew in this pose, so again, Derek doesn't place higher than third. The side chest is one of Derek's weakest poses and neither his guns or his chest are one of his best body parts. It's true, Derek wins downstairs, he's got the most impressive side leg, him and Rami of course, Overall this pose has to go to Nick Walker in my opinion and Derek could, could somehow sneak into second but personally I'm not sure I would give him second just because of that lower body. Samson is better upper body so again I can't see Derek getting more than third place in this pose overall. In the back double biceps pose Derek shines and reclaims his strength. Had this been at the Olympia the top spot would likely have been a toss up between him and Nick Walker, however Nick looked a bit flat at the Arnold compared to the Olympia so Derek is favored to win this pose here. He boasts a superior back and lower body details and his glutes are on another level compared to the rest of the competitors. In the back lat spread pose Derek appears to have a strong chance of winning again, he surpasses Nick in width and possesses superior details including greater separation. In fact, his level of details outshines any of the other competitors, therefore I believe Derek could also win this other back pose. In the side triceps pose, Derek appears impressive and may compete with Nick Walker for first place. Samson and Andrew also present great looks, but both Nick and Derek seem more refined in this pose. Though Big Rami would have easily won this pose in his prime, he still looks great and has shown improvement in his triceps since the Olympia. This pose is between Nick and Derek in my opinion. In the abs and thighs pose, all the competitors look impressive including Rami, but his lack of details through the abs and quads put him at the last place in my opinion. Andrew takes the first spot with his exceptional conditioning and muscularity and those abs of course, Nick and Derek battle for second place, with Nick looking great but Derek having the advantage in terms of flow and quad sweeps. Overall Derek's well rounded physique gives him an advantage in this pose over Nick but he's a distant second behind Andrew Jack. In the most muscular pose Derek Lansford appears to struggle compared to the rest of the lineup. His chest and the arms lack the same volume and details as the other competitors, placing him at a disadvantage. 
Nick Walker and Samson Dauda seem to have an edge in this pose and could potentially battle for top spot. It seems that Derek Lansford had some uh, impressive strengths such as his V-taper and conditioning but also some clear weaknesses in certain poses, particularly in the arm department. Based on the comparison of the mandatories, in my opinion, Derek would have been competing for second place with Nick Walker, both being shorter bodybuilders but with different strengths. When faced with bigger and more muscular competitors like Samson Dauda, who are in great conditioning as well, it is likely that Derek would fall short, as smaller bodybuilders tend to struggle against larger ones. Overall, while Derek is a strong competitor in his own right, he may face difficulties against larger and more muscular opposition, such as uh, Samson Dauda and Andrew Jack, of course. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. Where do you think Derek would have placed had he entered the Arnold Classic? Also, like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you and see you next time.